that. But before we even get to any of that, okay, I have something that I want to throw out there because I want everyone's opinion. As you know, on this very show, every day we talk about various topics, and a lot of the time I get great feedback from you guys regarding things that I should do or shouldn't do about the schedule, about projects that I work on, and the like. And this year, I've listened to your feedback a lot. I really have. And I feel that this year, the content has been better for it. All right? Well, I have something that I want to run by you guys. We've already talked about it earlier this week. But I want to run it by you guys because there's been some developments. All right? And I want you all to know what's going on. And I want your feedback on this. And I want you to be honest, brutally honest. I want you to be 100% honest with me. If you're here live right now, I want feedback. And if you're watching this on demand, I also want feedback. Okay? So here we go. As you guys know, about a week ago now, I don't even remember anymore. I really don't. Uh, I, I, time just passes by so quickly now that I, I lose track of everything. Um, a documentary, yes, another one, was made about me on YouTube. Yes, it was titled with a clickbait title that was very negative. People who've seen the documentary say it's a mixed bag, that there's a lot of bad stuff about me, and there's stuff that's more fair. A lot of it analyzes a lot of my haters and stuff like that, too. But I guess it was made by a YouTube documentarian called Turkey Tom. Okay? I haven't seen it. I, I don't have two hours to sit there and watch yet another documentary about myself right now. And when it came out, <clears throat> all right, people said to me, will you react to it? And I said, well, honestly, this year we've been staying away from this kind of content. You know, earlier in the year I reacted to the uh, Second Wings of Redemption documentary. We reacted, I think it was a Keemstar documentary, or was that last year? It might have been last year. And we also reacted to, um, uh, oh, God, the guy, oh, my, I can't even remember his name anymore. It's completely slipped my mind. Uh, the guy who used to work for Screw Attack, and then he went off to his own content, and there was the big controversy about him uh, supposedly soliciting people for sexual pictures and stuff. I can't even remember his name. I seriously can't even remember his name. Okay? I've, <laughs> I've forgotten. That's what I mean. I've been so out of the drama this year, after that stuff earlier this year, I don't even really think about it anymore, right? This year, here's what happened, <clears throat> as you guys know. Yeah, pro Jared, thank you. I've totally forgotten about the guy. Um, earlier this year, we had the stupid side-scrollers interview we all know how that went. Nothing but drama after it, correct? Keemstar trying to pull me into drama constantly. Then drama with Boogie and Wings that want to do a podcast with me. Then they flip on me, and now they want to do a podcast with Keemstar. And now that entire thing is falling apart. What a shocking twist that exactly what I said would happen is happening, right? Wow, just a huge revelation that that would happen, right? That the show is a shit show and everyone's quitting. Wow, what a big surprise, correct? Anyway, I've done everything I could to stay out of drama this year correct? I really have. Like, after all that nonsense happened, the direct feedback I got from you guys and gals was that all you care about is me making content for this channel. You want to see me play games, do a podcast, do some fun react stuff that's not drama, have a good time with you guys, and that's what it's all about. And I've done that, right? I've pretty much done everything I possibly can to stay out of the drama. So, when this Turkey Tom documentary came out about a week ago or so, whenever it was, people told me about it or whatever. I'm like, okay, whatever. And people were like, well, will you, uh, respond to it will you watch it will you do a live react and i was like meh right now we're in the busiest time of the year i'm back dated on games right like i am i'm backlogged i'm trying to finish up the games that i've been playing i finished them now we're playing the next batch of games this is the busiest time of the year for what i'm do as a content creator right in my opinion it's the best time of year as a content creator we got the best weather we got the best amount of variety of games we got a lot going on correct so do i want to take time out from me doing what i love to sit here and entertain drama. And overwhelmingly, the answer you guys gave me a week ago was, no, don't do it. Forget it. Don't do it. Stay out of it. Whatever. <clears throat> now, in the meantime, people have kind of like piecemeal mentioned things about the documentary here on my streams. A couple people talked about how, I guess, Tom questioned uh, how I got my job at the helicopter company. I guess he claimed nepotism, and apparently there was an impression that my dad was a manager at the company. No, he wasn't. He was not any kind of a higher up at the company ever. That's completely false. Um... <clears throat> And there's other things, I guess, that were said in the documentary that were Tom's opinions. And a lot of people were like, well, you could easily respond to this stuff and say that it's not true or prove it's not true or whatever. And I'm like, well, every once in a while I would mention it, right? I would talk about it on a stream. You know, the one thing that I, I really sadly have a, a big issue with is just the name of the documentary. I think he called it A Decade of Failure, right? To which I responded, if you wanted to call it A Decade of Decline or, a, you know, A Decade of... Uh, I don't know, like losing prominence, because at one point I was a big gaming YouTuber, and then over the last decade, admittedly, I've, I've lost that prominence. I'm not prominent at all anymore. No one thinks of DSP when they think of big gaming YouTubers at all. But the thing is, I don't aspire to be, never did I ever aspire to be a big gaming YouTuber. My choices have directly been anti-YouTube uh, popularity. 
I never used the thumbnails. I never used the clickbait titles. I didn't edit my content. I didn't collaborate with other people. I didn't take sponsorships and partnerships. I didn't go on trips for promotion. Literally, I did the opposite <clears throat> of what a YouTuber typically does to try to be popular, to be true to myself. And I'm happy. Like, I'm happy. Ten years later, despite the fact that I'm so small time, I'm still happy with who I am and the content that I put out. So how is that a failure, right? So anyway, after having talked about it on and off over the last, um, you know, week or two, because again, I don't even remember when the documentary came out, uh, Turkey Tom had said in a video that he wanted to basically, like, interview me, all right? So I said, contact me. So just so you guys know, I want to give you an update on that, all right? He did. He contacted me. We went back and forth via DM. And essentially, he's like, I'm going to talk about everything. I'm going to talk about WWE Champions Mobile Games. I'm going to talk about Team Star and the Low Call Podcast. I want to talk about the history of you as a content creator. I want to talk about your fan base. I want to talk about this. I want to talk about that, all right? So, basically, I responded to the guy. I want to guys to let you know. You know I'm, again, I'm transparent. I want you guys to know what's going on, all right? So, I responded to him, and I was like, look, never in my history as a content creator have I ever had a problem talking about what I do for a living, the content I put out, my, my community and my fan base. Like, these are all positive things. I'm totally down for any of that discussion. But I am not down for a drama discussion. I already said what I had to say about all that drama stuff earlier this year in the Side Scrollers podcast, right? So... I have nothing else to say. If you literally sat down with me <clears throat> and asked me about all the same shit, about all the conspiracy theories around me, I'm going to give you exactly the same answers because they are my truthful answers and they're never going to change. That was the point in doing that interview earlier this year was to get the answers in one spot. If you want my answers, you got them. You don't have to believe them, but at least you have the answers and you can stop bugging me about it, right? This is exactly the same thing that Mutahar or some ordinary gamers asked me about two, three months ago. He offered me $5,000 for an interview and I DM'd him. Well, he DM'd me and I said, Listen, I don't want to talk about the drama. I've already given my answers. If you want to talk about any other topic, I'm down. But I don't want your money. Number one, I reject your money. I'm never going to take payment for an interview. That's ridiculous. And number two, it's not going to be about this drama stuff I've already answered. And he literally never responded after that. Why? Because he's only interested in drama. It's all he wants is drama topics. That's what he's going to make money on, right? doesn't want to have an actual intelligent, logical conversation with me about anything. All you want is the lol cow shit, right? So... Guess what? I say, no, I'm not going to do that because I have no interest in it. I've already talked about it. And that's it. These people move on. So in the case of Turkey Tom, I went back to him and I said, listen, I'm not going to talk about any of your the drama shit. I'm just not. You know. And another thing I said was, I want to have absolutely no involvement whatsoever with Keemstar. So if that means this is going to be something that's going to be on the Lyle Kyle podcast or talked about on the Lyle Kyle podcast or anything else that has to do with him, I'm not, I have nothing to do with it. I, I hate the guy. As we all know, there's good reason. The guy is treating, treating me like dirt, despite the fact that all I ever did was turned him down for his podcast. I never even was officially offered to be on a show. Um, yeah, he acts like I was and shit like that. Like, he's nuts. The guy's a fucking egomaniac nut job, right? So I was like, I want nothing to do with the guy. So, no, if you're going to have any involvement with that, nothing with that, and I'm not going to bring up drama anymore. But if you want to talk about anything else, that would probably be acceptable. And he said, all right, so, you know, what about a discussion about you and your history as a content creator and your fan base and the content you put out and that kind of stuff, right? And I was like, you know, maybe. And I said, well, what would the format be? And he's like, well, it wouldn't be a stream or anything. It would just be like a one-on-one -on -one conversation we have that he would put out as an interview video on his channel. And I said, all right, you know, interesting. But I haven't responded past that, okay? I haven't. I haven't gotten past that. Why? Because before I make any decisions whatsoever, I want to present this to you guys. All right? Is this something that you feel, number one, would be interesting that you want to see? Number two, do you think that this guy is a fair interviewer and would do a fair interview? I don't know much about Turkey Tom at all. I don't watch his content, so I don't know. I don't know what would come of it. Number three, is this even something worth bothering? Or should I stick to my guns, as I said I would do earlier this year, and literally just stay away, right? Should I just stay away from this and say, this isn't going to benefit anyone or anything? I don't, you know, what's the point? Right now, again, I am so busy with stuff, as you guys know. I'm in the midst of playing a ton of new games that we're juggling. We've got special events coming up. we got a Thanksgiving Day event. We've got the Black Friday event. Then we're going to start planning for the Christmas event. I'm still juggling my reaction. I'm doing a million projects as it is, correct? So the question that to you guys is, <clears throat> do you feel there's any benefit whatsoever to doing this? Or do you feel that, no, there's no positive benefit at all. There's no point in doing it. That's the feedback that I need. So I'm gonna, now I'm telling you guys about this for the first time, correct? I want to get feedback, and I'm going to try to take in your feedback um, in the next day or so. And then once I get all of your feedback on this, then I will respond back to Tom and let him know my ultimate decision. All right? So I'm just being fair here, <clears throat> right? I, you know, I'm trying to be as fair as I can about all of this stuff. I don't want to outright tell the guy no without 
a proper consideration. But I also want to be sure, and like I've told you guys, it's not just about me, it's about all of us. This is a community, right? Anything that I do can positively or negatively affect all of you as well, and I know that. So what do you feel that there's any benefit, right? So right now, I can tell you right now, there's a mixed opinion in the chat right now, okay? I'll just read a few random responses for you guys. A few random responses. Here we go. That whole lane of YouTube is just whack, not interested. If you phrase it that way, yeah, I could see something positive coming out of it. It depends entirely on how it goes. My opinion is don't do it. Last time it blew up in your face. Depends on how much he's offering. He'll just ask the same questions every other interview he's done. He's not offering anything. There's no offer pay. I'm not taking pay for any interview. Um, if you can get the rights to the final edit. I'm, what? It's just an interview. What? <laughs> it's just an interview. This isn't like a giant documentary with final edits. It's just an interview, dude. It's just like talking back and forth, a conversation. You, we saw what happened with the side scrollers. Do not do it. Okay. Tom is generally unbiased. If it won't go into obvious troll topics, it might actually be good. Stay away from it. It could be a good opportunity for newer viewers to check out your stuff. Let me keep going here. Let's see here. I'm not trying to question it. Why wouldn't you take pay for an interview? Because I'm not a greedy piece of shit. And I don't think that it's worth... Why? Just like I said, I would never charge for an autograph. I would never charge for a meet and greet session. I would never charge for a conversation. That's ridiculous. I'm not any better than anyone else on this planet. You understand? We're all the same. So why would you... Why would I charge for a conversation? That doesn't even make sense to me. That's insane, right? It's literally nuts. <clears throat> I don't even understand that logic behind it, right? So, why not? Yes, you'll gain attention. So, it might be of the wrong, the wrong kind, but it's still attention. The fact that random people in the chat are just saying, don't do it, speaks volumes. Look at this. Yeah. More than likely, it will come off as negative. You won't receive any more new viewers, let alone supporters. Wow. See, here's the difference, right? Here's what I'm seeing as a big difference here. Earlier this year, if you remember, late last year is when a lot of YouTubers started name dropping me in a very negative way. And... I said that's when I wanted to be interviewed. I was like, if you're going to name drop me, then give me the give me the benefit of the doubt and interview me and have a real conversation with me about what I do and who I am rather than just shitting on me constantly with all the stupid memes. Actually meet the real me. No YouTuber stepped up to the plate to do that. Only the drama YouTubers who I was never going to do an interview with anyway. So then I was done. I said I wasn't going to do it. And then all of a sudden, Side Scrollers restarted as a, as a show on YouTube after having been defunct for over a decade, I think. And... They were supposed to be a variety show, and the whole idea was that I was going to be on their show. They invited me as a guest for their variety show, and I accepted in that regard. And then they turned it into they want to do a giant drama interview. And I was like, well, I'll do it, but the whole understanding is we do it, and then I'll be a guest on your show as a normal guest. And that's when they, it was a complete lie. They baited me into being on the show for an insanely long interview, which they personally benefited from in huge ways, and they milked for months after. They then rescinded the offer for me to be on the show as a regular guest. Literally in an email, says right there, we don't want, we're not going to have you on the show because of all because of this drama because we don't believe your answers i'm like that wasn't the arrangement we had the arrangement we had was there's the interview and then the guest and you basically have gone back on that and then on top of that like i said they just continued to milk it for months and months so you know it wasn't the intention that i was even going to do the interview with those guys i was already i was already out of caring about the interview and uh you know it went pretty much horribly as we all kind of i think expected right for me it served the purpose of at least like I said, if anyone wants to hear my answers on the drama, you hear the answers from the interview and it's done. Because now no one comes to this channel anymore and asks me about that nonsense. Literally, I, they don't. And that's great. I don't have to hear about that bullshit ever again. That's I, I did the interview. I have gave my answers. We're done, right? <clears throat> so that's great. Um, but, yeah, it hurt everyone. It hurt me. It hurt them. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, just... It sucks because... I don't want, again, I don't want to do anything that's going to hurt not only me, but you guys too. So, again, I'm taking it, I would say feedback in the chat is about 6633. 66% of the people are against it with Turkey Tom, and 33 are like, man, give it a shot. I would like more feedback. If you watch this podcast every day, please give me your feedback, whether it be an email, whether you leave a comment on this video. Let me know what you personally think. Should I go through with it or not? Um, right? Um, like I said, there's a lot of factors here. Number one, I'm so busy anyway with all this other stuff going on. And that's not an excuse not to do it. It's just a fact. 
I'm juggling a bunch of games. I got special events coming up. I've already got all this stuff going on right now, right? So for me to do this interview, I'd have to find a time to squeeze it in or it would suffer. One of my other streams or projects would have to suffer to have time to do this to begin with. But would it be beneficial? I, you guys would know this guy better than me. I don't know. I haven't seen the documentary. I haven't watched any of his content. I don't know anything about him. So to me, it's like, don't know shit. So I'm, that's why I'm kind of relying on you guys for your feedback, okay?